Assalam alaikum fratelli e sorelle, rieccoci qua. E oggi ho deciso di farvi vedere un video eh, riguardo una persona che ha fatto una domanda a un imam eh, dicendo eh, perché Dio ha creato diverse religioni. Guardiamo insieme. My name is Krishna Rao. I am working as a general manager abroad. Luckily today, one of my, fortunately, with, I've come here with one of my friends who has brought me here today. In fact, Dr. Zakir, I have seen him on TV. And always I had, uh, I mean, this is a great opportunity that has, God has given me to see him personally and ask a question which always I had a doubt in my life, uh, that why God didn't create one religion or he didn't make one religion for everybody so that peace would have been prevailed on this earth. He knew it or he never knew about it that these are the problems which are going to be faced. So brother asked a very good question, very important question. Why did not God create only one religion? Why did he create all the different religions so there would be no confusion, no fighting? And I agree with him, it's a very good question. And if you read the Quran, Allah says in the Quran in Surah Al-Imran, chapter number 3, verse number 19, Inna dina in the al Islam. The only religion acceptable in the sight of Allah is Islam. Islam means submitting your will to Almighty God. So if you read all the religions, Almighty God only sent messengers to preach one religion. All the messengers that came, right from Adam, peace be upon him, right down Noah, Moses, Jesus, Muhammad, peace be upon them all. All the prophets, and our beloved prophet said, they were 124,000 messengers sent on the face of the earth. And it's mentioned in the Quran in Surah Fatir, chapter 35, verse 24. Wa min khalafiya nazir. There is not a nation or a tribe to whom we have not sent a warner or a guide. Allah says in Surah Rath, chapter number 13, verse number 7, Wali kulli komen had. And to every people have we sent a warner. Now, all the messengers that came, brother, they taught nothing but submitting their will to Almighty God. And the basic message that all these messengers taught oneness of God. He did not beget. He has got no mother. He has got no father. He is only one. There is nothing like him. But due to passage of time, all what the messengers preached, it got corrupted. And if you heard my talk, I mentioned that most of the scriptures that came before the Quran, they got changed. And Allah says in the Quran, in several places, if he wanted, he could have made everyone submit his will to God. Everyone Muslim. See, Muslim brother, don't take it as a religion. The real meaning of Islam is, it's a deen, it's a way of life. Submitting your will to God. And Muslim doesn't mean a person who has the name Zakir, Abdullah, Sultan. Muslim means a person who submits his will to God. If you submit your will to God in Arabic, I will call you as a Muslim. So don't go on the labels given. Sultan, Zakir, Abdullah. Muslim in Arabic means a person who submits his will to God. Anyone who submits his will to God, he is called as a Muslim. So all the messengers that came, they taught that we have to submit our will to God. All of them taught monotheism. All taught Tawheed. But by the passage of time, all these scriptures kept on changing. And that is the reason Almighty God, he sent the last and final messenger, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. And the last and final revelation, glorious Quran. Now all the messengers that came before Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, all the revelations that came before the Quran, they were only meant for those people and for that time. By name, four are mentioned in the Quran. Torah, Zabur, Injil and the Quran. Torah is the Wahi, the revelation which was given to Moses, peace be upon him. Zabur is the Wahi, the revelation given to David, peace be upon him. Injil is the Wahi, the revelation given to Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. And Quran is the last and final revelation given to the last and final messenger, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. But Quran also says in Surah Rad, chapter number 13, verse number 38, it says, the Kulli Ajlin Kitab. In every age have we sent a revelation. There were several revelations sent down. But all the revelation that came before the Quran and all the messengers that came before Prophet Muhammad, they were sent only for those people and for that time. That is the reason Almighty God did not think it fit to preserve it. But since Quran is the last and final revelation, not only sent for the Muslims or the Arabs, it is sent for the whole of humanity. And Prophet Muhammad, 
He is not sent only for the Muslims or the Arabs. He has been sent for the whole of humanity. That is the reason he has been prophesied in all the major world religious scriptures. And this book, the Quran, Allah says in Surah Hijar, chapter number 15, verse number 9, we have revealed the Quran and we shall guard it from corruption. So what we realize that Almighty God sent messengers to preach only one religion. That is, submitting your will to Almighty God. In Arabic, I say Islam. Jesus Christ never came to preach Christianity. The word Christianity doesn't exist in the Bible. Do you know that? In the full Bible, the word Christianity is not there. He didn't preach Christianity. The word Christian was a nickname given to the followers of Jesus at Antioch, mentioned in the book of Acts. Nickname. So Jesus Christ preached Islam. It's mentioned in the Gospel of John, chapter 5, verse number 30, Jesus Christ peace be said that not my will, but my father's will. God's will. In Arabic, he preached nothing but Islam. Similarly, if you read Bhagavad Gita, Sri Krishna said that you have to submit your will to God. If you understand Arabic, he says that you have to accept Islam. So what we realize that all the messengers taught nothing but submitting our will to God. That's the reason the Quran says in Surah Imran chapter 3 verse 19, in the dina in the lal Islam, the only way of life accepted in the sight of God is submitting our will to Almighty God. So what we have to go back to the original scriptures. Go back to the commandment of Almighty God and submit your will to the commandment of God and then you will be following the straight path. Hope that answers the question well. Mashallah, mashallah, questo imam è veramente sorprendente, ha risposto a questa domanda in una maniera veramente molto chiara, eh, anch'io ho imparato tanto da questo video e spero anche voi, eh, questa domanda era veramente molto, molto importante, ovvero eh, perché Dio ha creato altre religioni, l'imam ha risposto in una maniera molto chiara dicendo che eh, comunque Dio ha, ha mandato eh, i profeti come messaggio a, a, a noi dicendo che comunque dovremmo sottometterci a un solo Dio eh, solo che eh, nel, diciamo nel, nel passare degli anni e dei secoli eh, si sono create tre religioni e comunque ogni uomo ha, ha deciso di, di, di scegliere la religione che, che credeva di, di piacere e, e quindi come per esempio nella mia situazione io crescendo comunque in Italia e c'era il cristianesimo io ho, ho seguito per tantissimi anni il cristianesimo ma mashallah, andorillah eh, ho avuto un segno di Allah e mi sono convertita all'Islam quindi eh, per noi musulmani eh, la religione che Dio cercava di comunicarci tramite profeti è l'Islam. Eh, appunto eh, Dio mandò questi, questi messaggeri eh, perché si erano create delle, delle religioni eh, e appunto tramite questi profeti eh, si, di, si è diffuso l'Islam. Eh, Appunto, fin dai tempi dei profeti ci sono stati anche dei conflitti come appunto la conquista di Mecca tramite il nostro profeta Salalahu alayhi wa sallam ehm, perché appunto c'erano tantissime religioni come ebraismo, cristianesimo e politeismo a quei tempi. Eh, comunque sia, se voi volete approfondire questa, questa storia eh, potete anche fare le vostre ricerche o comunque Shalla farò un altro video riguardo a questo. Eh, spero che questo video vi è piaciuto, se avete domande scrivetemi pure. Eh, va bene, eh, non dimenticate di iscrivervi al mio, al mio canale, eh, ci vediamo presto Shalla. Assalamu alaikum.